We have a question from Nicholas. Nicholas. Is it okay to just practice kettle bells? Yes. Yes. Oh, there's more. Three to five times a week without a focus goal. Absolutely. And in fact, I still think the best way to train kettlebells is to do what we did back in the early 2000s in the aughts when people used to just play with kettlebells. I never had organized workouts when I first started to kettlebell. You would do uh, kettlebell, uh, kettlebell, not gymnastic, kettlebell juggling. Uh, you do some snatches, you do some cleans, you do some presses, you put the bell out, bunch of bells in a, in a, in a line and clean and press or squat them and then do something else and then do something else. And then when you felt like you were done, you'd walk away. And I love that. Um, or should I just keep doing my random workouts and every week of one day snatch, one day swing, one day uh, ABC complex, next day pull-ups and loaded carries? Boy, I tell you, you've given me two good options and I like them both. Uh, I would maybe organize it myself to two weeks of that one day swing, one day snatch, one day, two weeks of that, and then one week of just freestyle. That's the words Pavel uses. He calls it freestyle training. Uh, I think you'll find a lot of good in it. Uh, the nice thing about not measuring things sometimes is that you get this little, hey, that was fun in your brain. Um, I guess I'm asking how much importance should I place on programming versus just doing the work? Uh both are important. Programming is important, but doing the work is important. Uh, I noticed in my own athletic career and my coaching that the kids who had the most fun playing uh, the sport were usually in the best condition. The kids who would get together and play, you know, seven on seven games in a park or just go out and have fun and play the sport. That's far better conditioning than 10 sets of 100 meters or some stupid thing like that. It's a good question, Nicholas. I hope I helped you.